Hi, this is Raheem Zulfiqar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn that how to do a wildcard search or partial search of a list of words from a, a table and to get the count or distinct count of those specific words. So let's get started. Uh, I have imported two tables from an Excel file. The first one is the in input, which contains two columns, serial number and products names and another table in here is the list of words we need to find out uh, i will click on new measure which is on home tab and we will write uh, some dax here so first we will define a name for that measure so that is count then equal space now we will start writing DAX. So what we are required to do is that we have a list of products and we need and we have certain specific words and we need to count that how many times they have occurred in the database. Okay. So for doing that in Power BI, let's start writing some DAXs. Uh, so first we will have the count rows. Then we will add another DAX which is calculate table. First we need to define the name of the table. So that table name is input. Then in the filter argument, we will add filter DAX and we will say that the name of the table again is input. And we will now as in the filter expression, we will need to create a logic so that each of the word, which is in the word list table will uh, search in the input table. Okay. So how are we going to do that? So let me start. I will write with if error search then selected value. Now where from the selected value? It's from the uh, word list table from the words column. Okay. And uh, then comma in the alternate result, we will put it as a blank and then close the bracket then comma. Now in the within text of the search DAX, uh, we will add that you need to search it from the input table and uh, in the products column, okay, which is the actual database. And then we will close the bracket, then comma minus one for value of error, bracket close, greater than zero, and then three bracket close and I will press the enter key. So this is the entire explicit measure we have created to count certain words from the database. And I will just drag this explicit measure on my canvas and I will say that convert into a table and I will select the words field from the word list table and I will just drag and drop. So now I can see that all those words which we are searching in the input products column how many times it have been occurred okay so let me just increase the size of these uh, values so that you can see easily all right so now as you can see that allergen has been came five times lego has came five times uh, similarly no has came 11 times right so for instance if we pick the lego example so if I go to my database and if I see the products column, so the Lego has been came five times in uh, the record number 10, record number 14. Then we have in the record number 21, 24 and then 28, right? But if you can observe that the Lego, which is in record 10, 14 and 28 has same same thing because it's keep coming repetitively so we can consider them as a duplicates and we want to make these three into one so we need to perform the distinct count because this particular logic of counting is basically searching for that specific word anywhere presented in in those uh, cells like either these words are presented in left side mid or the right side and giving us the counting but it's also counting the duplicates as well so we need to now create a logic for the distinct count but before that if you are creating the explicit measure and you know that uh, 
these are the long text you can find the this is very long dax uh, concept so you need to clean that and you need to make it presentable so what you can do is just select this entire explicit measure copy that and go to your web browser open a website that is called daxformatter.com okay so as you know that as a power bi user you know that data analysis expressions dax is a formula language introduced in power bi if you are using excel so you know that you can use dax in power pivot or the analysis service tabular to define uh, the calculation and queries so basically sqlbi.com or sqlbi.com has created a website uh, which is called dax formatter it's a free website uh, to just transform your uh, long explicit measures into clean and beautiful readable code so that you can understand so what you can do is uh, i have just opened this website daxformatter.com and i will click on settings on top right and i will select short lines here and i will just control v to paste my entire code here and i will click on format so it will transform that into a meaningful and understandable way so that a user can uh, understand that what is happening in the explicit measure which he has created with some logics so what i can do is i can just now once it has been formatted from uh, a single line right sometimes user don't understand this entire raw so entire logic so what you can do is once you have transformed that here on the website you can copy this right click copy and go to power bi and just control v and then press enter key okay so now when you go back to that measure when you click on measure it will come in each of the dax measure has been cleaned and understandable for the user so you can write in this way as well okay now what we are doing is we need to uh, create a logic here so we will create an explicit measure which will return the distinct count for each of the word which will be we are finding in the products column of input table okay so for doing that now i will go to home tab new measure so first i will give a name to that measure so i will be giving the name as distinct count okay and i will write the logic here count rows then calculate table and here we will write distinct uh, now the column or table expression will be the input table products column okay bracket close comma then in the calculate table dax we have the second argument which we have to fill that is filter one so i will use the filter dax here and i will say the table name is the input table comma if error again that logic if error search search that selected value okay selected value from word list table in the words column and uh, comma alternate result is blank bracket close comma within text which is the input table and uh, the products column right bracket close comma minus one bracket close greater than zero and the remaining brackets we will close here and we will say enter and now what we gonna do that we will just drag the distinct count here and now you can see that the lego from the normal count has been came five times this word in the database and with the distinct count it has appeared as three right so if i open excel file so if you are doing the same kind of query in excel you have to use count if with the wild card which is the static right uh, here i have highlighted the lego as a normal count from the count if in excel it returns five and with a distinct count because the pattern is this is same and it can considered as duplicate so we need just one time so the lego is being three times as a distinct count okay so in the power bi we got the same results but now you can compare that in excel we have functions in power bi we need to create the uh, explicit measures where we have to put a concept definitely your data modeling concepts uh, should be very very clear 
uh, whenever you write a DAX that how you want to extract those uh, results uh, so th so it would be easy to write a DAX okay so I hope you will find this meaningful and share with your colleagues thank you